Welcome back everybody to another Let's Play here on the channel. Today we are going to be playing a game that we enjoy and one that is cooperative and doesn't lead to a lot of yelling at each other in a cooperative game because a lot of them can. And that game is Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, The Promised Day. So sit back and enjoy watching us play this game and then we will talk about our experience afterwards. Welcome back everybody to another Let's Play here on the channel. Today... Jeremy and I are playing Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, The Promised Day. Yes, this is the day that was promised. Kind of like the prince that was promised in Game of Thrones. Maybe we'll one day figure that out. We got no payoff in the Game of Thrones show. <laughs> Jeremy's just going to talk quietly into the microphone about stuff I don't understand. You and we're understand never going to actually it. play this game. It's going to be glorious. You understand it. You read the books. You know what I'm talking about, the prince that was promised. Do you know how long ago I read those books? Do you know how Remember long I've things. been waiting for the winds of winter to arrive? Reading is your favorite pastime. You should remember all things that you've ever read. <laughs> okay, so we have started the game. We've already done the adding the mannequins to start out. We've already added our boss. Our boss is Wrath. Wrath's ability will damage every player that is in the outer ring of the city area here so as long as we stay out of there when the boss ability triggers we should be okay he's usually one of the ones that's easier to ignore and we've already flipped one of the circles that we're allowed to flip because it's the match to this one and when you're playing with a one or two game player game you uh flip one of them so we've already flipped one of them i am going to take the first turn there is no homunculus turn on the first turn so I'm going to start off by playing a green double attack, which apparently is me yelling. I am able to, well, actually I could do my movement first, but I kind of needed to do that. So I guess I just waste the movement and I will, <laughs> will then play an additional green card to damage to kill one of these guys and that allows me to still do two more actions which will probably be to replenish okay so that's my last action so now it is your turn i will not move you will not move i'm a mountain i cannot be moved <laughs> We saw nothing. So you're going to kill one and two. So now we're looking for blue in this spot. Kind of messed me up. How did I mess you up? Because I want to kill more stuff with the color that's right. So then just wait. I'm sure something will get added. Never keep a lady waiting. Fool. Well, now you can do extra replenishment. Drawing a single card each time that you replenish, that you take the replenish action. <laughs> I mean, this is referring to our off camera practice game when Elaine was replenishing on turns and drawing up to a full hand every time she did replenish. Stop ruining the movie magic! <laughs> Gosh, I get it. I fucked up. It's okay. I don't have anything else to really do right now replenish i did i have four cards i thought that's the hand limit i don't think that there's a maximum hand size is there i thought there was a hand limit i mean that's what you start with is with the four cards draw a card from your deck and add it to your hand players who have run out of cards in their decks can no longer perform this action there's nothing that says you can only drop the four cards so i performed one action two actions look at me with my freaking stockpile over here yeah, it's your turn, boy. Okay. Well, actually, it's not. It's the bad guy's turn. We don't like them. They're going to die Yeah, it's the bad guy's turn. So I'm going to give you the first player marker because it's going to be yours this turn. And we're going to reveal the homunculus card. We'll show it to the camera. Collectively, we have to discard two cards. You just drew a bunch of cards. So I think we can... Based on what is useful, discard based on what you think is useful. 
I probably... Do you have useful cards for these sectors? For the sector that I'm in currently, I am useful at least one more time. I could discard... I could discard one if I needed to. Okay, since you're useful one more time... Okay. And then you want to get rid of one or two? Okay. All right. So you are now, now we are doing the movement. So one and five, there's nothing on the board. So nothing, um, the boss triggers, but the boss doesn't do anything. One and five move. And then we have to draw six mannequins and add them. Two go into five. One goes into one and two go into three. I realized that I stayed in the top spot and I'm going to get damaged Two, go into two. That was dumb. So now, well, you a dumb, dumb. Yes. Apparently but you're um, my dumb, dumb. Like yay. a lollipop. You're a little bitty lollipop. The March didn't matter The we added and then we assess damage. I am going to lose one health. And we'll now start on the player side. So go ahead and take your turn. Free movement. Followed by another blue. Another blue. You didn't actually move, need to move up there. Are you going to move again? Don't try my patience, boy. I can take care of those, and I need to take care of them because I need to add the color, unless you're going to help add the color. No, I'm not going to help you now. I don't want to be a team <laughs> player anymore. You're a lousy companion, I've decided. So you've used, you've cast two spells... And you've done your free movement. Replenish and move. Why don't you, instead of that, not take the full movement up here and just move one space so then you're out of danger and you could have still cast those and then replenish twice instead of using Stop your last movement. Stop telling me how to play my character. <laughs> Stop getting involved. Just optimizing. I'm just hearing a dial-up tone in my head for some reason. Jeremy, just take your turn. Take your turn. Okay. You're making me sad. My brain is hurting. My okay, brain is so hurting, Jeremy. I'm going to use my movement to move down one. Yes. To move down one. I'm then going to play that to kill both of these. And... Hmm. These all have to be different. So, so that I've used my move. I use one action. So the one more move. Two. Three. So that'll be, that's two actions, right? I'm going to use. One here, this this is discarded, so I just want to make sure that we don't get confused with that. Use this to kill one and one. And then use this one to kill the remaining two. That leaves me with no hand and in danger, but I'll I'll roll the dice. Even though there are no dice in this game? Yes. Yeah. But there was no other way to do that. So this one just needs a green and a blue. This one now needs two of any color. And we need one more blue. And one more blue. So cool. So now we are finished with that, and we will go to the homunculus of the next round. First, we will trigger our boss ability. Nobody's in the outside ring, so we're fine. We don't die. Yes, we do not get hurt by no the No zip. We then reveal the boss card, and it is Sloth. So 
We will add sloth. And sloth's token goes here. He makes one, two, and three advance when you use his boss ability. We then have one and four advance. We have no mannequins on the, uh, the board. Because we're amazing teammates. And then we're going to flip. And we're going to hope. Yes, we are amazing. We're going to flip one. And, of course, I'm going to get hit again. I'll put two and five. That sucks. And then two and one. Now we assess damage. And I'm going to take my second thing of damage. That's annoying. Okay. And I'm going, right? I'm going first, right? Yes. Okay. So hi, hi, Captain. Now we go to the player's turn. I have to replenish because I don't have any cards in hand. But let's see where I can move to first. Hmm. I am going to use my free move to get myself here. I'm going to hope that I get enough to, because it'll be two. I'm hoping that I'm going to get enough to kill them. So I have, I use my free move. I'm going to replenish three times, and then I'm going to see what my final thing is. Okay, cool. So I can play a blue here to kill these two. This is what I drew. And that will end my turn. Now it is my turn. The best turn. Going oh. down and fighting sloth. I'm doing a thing. So there's one. He's getting damage again. That is two attacks. Oh, and he's uh, we're set to reverse transmute that. Little problem I have. I stay here, I get hit by a wrath. No want. Like my life. No want blood for blood god. <laughs> <laughs> so you moved, you did your free move, you did two attacks. Yes. And I can you know what I do? I transmute. You know why I do this? I can flippy flip. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that flippy flip. I can take this card. Right? And you use and you can heal me? I can heal and... Draw I, a card. Yes. Perfection. And then you still have a movement. And then I have one move. I can use get out of way. Yes. Which direction should Panda go? Oh, Panda has plan. Uno. Uno, dos. That that runs the risk of it advancing and then advancing again and hurting you. Well, is it better? I want to wind up in this area. Or I could go. You could just go there. Two. I'd probably put yourself there. I want to be in this area. Huh? I want to get over here. I mean, you can run the risk if you want to. Whatever. <laughs> I will obey my companion who thinks he knows what he's talking about. It is up to you. If you would like to go there, you can. It's okay. <laughs> is bad guy turn again? After the yes. progression? it's bad guy turn. Well, don't we do progressions, then bad guy turn? Nope. We do uh, the boss abilities. Yeah, so, so progressions, because he has progressions. Yes. Yeah, he's poor, and he makes him progress, so it's progressions. Progressions. <laughs> yes. So three moves up, then we will... Uh, Reveal the card. We're around four now. So between us, we have to discard a card. And then three and four advance. So it's good that you weren't there. Fine. You were right, Mr. Companion, <laughs> with your, like, sixth sense or whatever. I don't know why I'm maintaining this voice. I don't know why either. It's amusing, I guess, maybe. Let us know down below in the comments. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm just double checking on the advancement of the the mannequins. 
Yes. Okay, cool. Just making sure. I get rid of card. We move along. You're going to be starting off this turn uh, after we reveal where we're adding the mannequins. Well, we have. Did we move them down? We already did them. You moved them down already? Mm -hmm. From him, too? Okay. Nine mannequins we add. Yes. So two go into three. Two go into four. Two more go into four. And three go into one. That is two, 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 four, six, nine. Cool. Womp womp. And now we are all set. It is your turn. Killed him. Nice. So you can remote, you can reverse uh, transmute now, right? Aye, aye, Captain. So you have the option, if you reverse transmute, you could do this one, which kills one in every zone. Which is useless here. It's useless there, but it kills one in every or, other zone. Or you could do the one that gets you two cards. Which I mean, you only have one in your hand, so. You know what's happening. I use my magics. Huzzah. And I get two cards. And you get two Cause cards. Because I'm greedy. Next one comes out. I believe this is you can kill two in any zone. So I took one action. What, what two actions. You did the attack and you did the reverse. Oh, that's right. Blubber. 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 What do you think I should do now? Should I go over here? Should I go over here? Up to you. I think I'm going to go over here so I can attack stuff. Oh, you healed me, right? I never healed myself. One, two, that's three action. Mm -hmm. One, two. Now you mean right spot. All will be okay. Yes. It's going to be okay. Yes. Hmm. I will murder things. Because I woke up and chose violence <laughs> and alchemy. Violence and alchemy. Okay. So I am going to... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right. I'm going to use my movement to go here. The center area there. I'm going to then play one and two. So this one and this one. And I'm going to take out all three of these. So that plays two cards down there. We only need seven total. I have two more actions I can do. I probably should use one of them to replenish. And then I probably should move. Where do I want to move to, though? Because four is in jeopardy. I will start murdering them. So I'm going to replenish first. Oh, I wasn't supposed to reveal that. Then I can move. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Do it says replenish. And I have one more, so I guess I'll move to the same place as you. We don't hold lands in my land. You don't hold lands in your land. We don't hold hands in my land. You get out of my land. Yeah, that's the best place for me to go, though. I mean, I guess I could go over to three, it's but we don't do need three either. Whatever. It's fine. I will I will do things. I will win the game. It will be glorious. Eh? Okay, so I'm going to pass my turn. This should have gone to me, but now I'll put it back to you. 
Go ahead. So starting player for that round. Movement. Do you have... We need a green and a blue. That's a green. That's one. Mm -hmm. Replenish. Replenish. So it's three. So now you all. Now I need to move my butt out of the way. Yeah. One. Should I go back with you? Probably. We'll hang out here together. Four might be a little rough. Um, okay. So that's your turn. We are then going to trigger the boss abilities. Three is going to move. If three marches again, it's going to end up on the thing. You already took your turn? Yes. Did I just like... I ended up on the same space as you were. Did remember? I just forget your turn? Yeah. Yes. I was so upset by the fact that you came to join me that I forgot your turn entirely. We're going to reveal... Nobody gets hit with wrath. We're going to reveal this. So we have... I don't remember which of this is. It's not sloth. It's not wrath. It is not greed. Envy. Envy. Okay. Envy goes on three. And can't fit it because of the... Stuff. The board here, but we'll just put envy there. I, I don't like this, but so envy will add two to three every turn, or every uh, every time it triggers, which combos with sloth fairly badly. All right, so then we're uh, having two and five march. There's nobody on two. There's nobody on five. And then we are adding five, pl five plus two zombies, not zombies, mannequins. Two go on three. Two go on five. And then the last one, one goes on one and two go on four. We're going to have to waste a lot of resources on four. Okay. You can attack from here. It'd be fine. You are now going first. Three right now is guaranteed to add next turn. Freebie. Mm-hmm. One. Nice. So, did my freebie, I attack twice. So you have two more actions. And we are currently in round five, so we only have two more rounds, and this still needs two cards. So... I'm going to back it up so I'm safe. All right, that's my third action. Mm -hmm. I'm going to zap him twice for no other reason than I need to use a card. Mm -hmm. And that concludes my turn. Okay, so we just need one more card there, and then we can reverse transmute. And one more card here. All right, so I am going to... I do not have the right card to use here currently. Yay, yay, Yeah. Okay, I can use my movement. One, two, three. That doesn't get me there. One, two, three. That also, there's no way for me to get to three, but I can get to four. So I'm going to move to four with my free movement. I am going to, hmm, use a zero here to kill these two. It's a zero range, two damage. I am then going to, so that's already done. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'll replenish. Make a decision from there. Okay, I've used two actions. Two actions, one. You really needed an app, like a marker for how many actions you've taken in this game. Yeah. Because we forget mucho times. Mucho, mucho. I, I'm going to use my movement. One, two, three, or one. No matter where I go, I'm going to end up probably getting hurt. Three. Can you help with this one next turn? No. Okay. One, two. I, I'm just gonna take. I'm just gonna eat the thing from Wrath, uh, and I'm gonna use this to take this guy out. Wait, could I do that? No, because I need to be in this space to use it there. So I'm just gonna take the damage from Wrath, and. I will then end my turn. So I'll get this. We will then trigger Bross abilities. But I get damage from Wrath. The Envy gets two added. Well, this one March. I'm doing the Marches first because I've already done They resolve in number order. Oh. But... Um, so starting with the, so Wrath, the, so it's fine, the March is first. So March, that marched, that goes on to there, and then Envy adds two to three. So you're yelling at me for doing the right thing? I wasn't yelling. You scolded me for doing the Down right thing? Down in the comments was I yelling. And then we reveal a round six homunculus card. No top effect. All March. And then we have to reveal six plus two. All right, that's not too bad. Uh, so six, let's get revealing. One goes into two, and two go into four. That's three. Two go into one. Two go into two. That is how many? That's seven. So we need to do one more, unfortunately. Two go into one, so I'm going to take another damage. And one goes into four. Now we check for damage. I go down to one health. Why you go down to one health? Because I'm in a space with a mannequin. Oh, it's you. Oh, you go down one. Uh, I got them confused. How do you get them confused? They look nice together. Like, I'm blonde. I have red coat. You black. That's true. Black Hair, coat. black coat. Very white boy, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm at two. You're at three. Uh, okay. So I start first this time. Remember, you have those cards. I do, but they haven't really. They're not really helpful. I mean, the only thing I could I could have done last turn is I guess I could have used this one, but that uses an action, so I wouldn't have been able to. The so what I'm gonna do is well, I have to replenish, I guess. I mean, we just have to lay down a card here, and then if I hit both, we're done. We needed one more card here, right? Yeah. And, and you just finished that, so as long as you put a card here, I can end the game next turn. Okay, so let's do that. We'll go here. And replenish. Replenish. Cool beans. I'm going to use this one. Which plays the last card that we needed here. I'm going to do damage to this guy. So can you move him down two? Or down one? Sorry. 
uh, yeah, down one, and I'm going to hit Wrath with the other one. And then, since I don't need to do anything, as my last action, I'm going to use my companion thing to... Just to say he did. To kill Sloth. Huzzah. And then I am done with my turn. Double check we counted properly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so I'm not going to move. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to use my special magics. We could say I picked up this card and killed some things. Look at me go. I'm going to move again. I'm going to flip over the thing with my magics. The game is now over. We have won. Good work, team. Good work, team. We're so such a this, great team. This reverse alchemizes... And then it's immediate end, but you would call for for that, which means you'd use you'd use that to heal me, right? Sure. Good work, <laughs> team. Good work, team. Yeah, very nice, very nice. See you awesome. on Thursday. So now that we have completed this let's play, we'll meet you back up top and talk about it. Yes. So how do you think that went? Well, that went well. We we won. We did win. Which is not a thing that happens particularly often. Yeah, for a lot of cooperative games, we it takes us a while to win them, but this one. If you play it correctly with the right characters, it's not particularly hard to win. Especially we were playing it at the lowest difficulty. And now we also know what we are doing, which really helps when a boss comes out. As you saw in our Let's Play, there are some bosses that you can kind of ignore. (coughs) Wrath. (coughs) Kind of ignore him. And then there are guys like Sloth. Harder to ignore. More of a bugger. Kind of have to murder him. We, we did didn't. ignore him, though. Yeah. Until, for a Until very long end. time, we ignored him. But then we were like, mm, you got to go. He did have Envy come out, and Envy can feed off of the fact that you get mannequins thrown into the third section, and they, get, and they get progressed by Sloth. So that combination, if you start off with Envy and then get Sloth, or vice versa, where it's Sloth first and then Envy, that's a, a bad combination. There are also other bosses in the game that are a little bit harder to work around where you we can't really ignore them. But yeah. I I enjoy this game. Basically, whenever we play it, I do enjoy it. I like that there's difficulty scaling in it. And like I said, we were playing on the lowest difficulty. Maybe if this video does really well, we'll play a game on a higher difficulty. And you can see Jeremy Rage quit. Yes. It'll but, be fun. We also were playing a fairly ideal combination with a alchemist and a companion. Those That combination tends to be the one that is the best. Yes, I think the combination of someone with higher movement, with someone who can actually allow you to win the game because companions can't do the alchemy that lets you win, is a good combination. Their yeah. skills together balance out very nicely. Yeah, greed having the ability to move three spaces for free in the beginning of the turn is really useful. It basically puts, allows you to put yourself in pretty much any starting position that you want to be in. Which, if you're playing with someone like, uh, I think it's Alphonse. Alphonse only has one movement, right? Yep. And even Edward only has two. So it's a little bit harder. You kind of have to plan out your moves. And you end up spending a lot more of your action on movement when you have more movement in a single free action. You don't don't end up doing that as much. So you don't waste your action resources. You're lapping people. You're like the flash waving as you go around the world over Mm -hmm. and over. This uh, this game played fairly well, and it's balanced. I would I definitely recommend picking this up. It's it's one of my more consistent recommendations for people. It is a little bit pricier than uh, a lot of the other games that we play. It's forty five to fifty five dollars yeah. or so, depending on where you go shopping. Which still isn't that bad, especially for something that's licensed. It's a like an officially licensed game that puts you right into the world of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood in a specific moment in Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. And if you're a big fan of the series, then it's kind of cool to experience that. Yeah, so I think this game does a very good job of delivering what you would expect of a game set in this world. And I think the components are strong. I think it's very thematic. I have fun. This is probably one of my favorite cooperative games right up there with the Cthulhu pandemic. Yeah. I think that there's a little bit of a gap between this one and Cthulhu, uh, Cthulhu pandemic. I really do like that game. I mean, I like them both. They're yeah. both good things. We haven't done a Let's Play of that yet, have we? Maybe for the Halloween time. Yeah, maybe for Halloween time. We do. We have lapsed a little bit in our Let's Plays, but we 
hopefully we're going to make an effort to not lapse as much in the future and bring some of that board game content going forward. And if you do like this content, please let us know by liking the video. And please let us know by liking the other videos, the other Let's Play videos. Leave a comment down below. What is your favorite anime-themed game that puts you into the world of your favorite anime series? Have you watched Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? Have you played this game? What do you think? What's your favorite cooperative game? Absolutely. That's a good one. And subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of this content going forward. And ring that bell so you know what's up. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.